All right. This might be a big uh, wiener here. We don't know. This might be a total disaster. We don't know. Uh, I've never been on this stretch of this river ever. Um, problem is with this spot too is that if I, once I get in to get out, I have to walk back because it's probably like, you know, four miles to the next bridge. There ain't no way I'm walking that far. So I have to give it a shot, see how the bottom is here and hope for the best and see what we can get, guys. I'm gonna start off the day using this Rainbow Trout Rapala. It's a suspending one. So we'll see how it pans out. Get down this hill, hopefully it's not a muddy mess. Oh, it's muddy. Hopefully once you get out here a little farther, it's not muddy anymore. Oh, sandy, there we go. Sandy boy, sandy. All right, let's see what we can do here real quick before we go too far and ruin everything. Oh, shoot. I get used to casting a rapala. I haven't casted one in a while. Just using my own thing usually. Ooh, this water is super cold. That's a good thing. All right, let's get it up over there. All right, nothing. All right, we'll get our way over here. Whoa. This deep spot right here, but I don't think it's gonna to be too productive for us. I can give it a shot. Nothing. All right, didn't think so. Usually it doesn't work for me very well fishing downstream, but you know, you can always give it a shot. You just never know it might work. All right, nothing. I don't know. Something inside my brain says, you should be chucking spinners. And then part of me's like, Try the Rapalos, try the Rapalos. I don't know. I've nailed some big fish on my spinners, so. Rapalos are just kind of something I like to play with once in a while. You know, ain't gonna work for us here. All right, I think uh, plan two, and plan B is more. And it works right now, because plan A ain't cutting it. I see a path over there. Maybe I can use it to get out of here. This is not working for our old Solar Mike here today. I don't know what the deal is here. I haven't seen a fish. A silver half ounce on if I nail some fish. But I think we can do nothing. All right, back in a second. Wow, when I got over here, there was this old branch here to go sit on. And wouldn't you know it? It went right to the bottom. Everything in my bag is all wet, but thank God there's really nothing in there I have to worry about right now. So it'll be okay. But geez, I didn't know it was that chunky that I'd break off a whole branch that big, especially. All right, maybe it's time to go on a diet. Whew. Well, that totally, totally ruined the fun on that one, I tell you. Right, I wonder if this would break off if I put my bag there. All right, fine, it didn't. Good for me. See what we got silver wise here. The silver here would work great. Oh, yeah, silver and black. It might actually do better. Let's try it. There's nothing else in there. It's not in a protective case. Man, there you go. I sat on it and broke that thing. That thing was kind of rotten, anyways, but geez. I sat on it and it collapsed. I wonder if I sit on the other branch there and break, then I can get through here easier without having to crawl around it. <sighs> Man, only me. Only me! All right, guys. It's been another tough week. The weather has been kind of decent, but we were getting some storms and I don't know. It was just really tough to get out. I had a lot of other things going on too. eBay business has been getting kind of busy, so I don't always have time to get out as much as I like to. All right, I figured for the first hour or so, I chuck maybe a Rapala, see if how it's gonna pan out. If maybe down in here, tiger or something pattern. So, anyways, uh, just gonna give it a shot in some of these tight little holes over here. See if something blasts out. You never know. 
Uh, beautiful morning. On the way down here, this trail that I had to take, I asked this farmer if I could cut through it. He told me just to walk down the one path on the far side of the cornfield. And of course, I took the opposite side of the cornfield because I figured, well, there might be something over there. It had to get me down a little farther onto the stream. So I took the farther side, and the farther side's got all these downblown trees all the way down. So it was basically me going in and out of the corn, and now I'm drenched. But, you know, whatever, I'm here and that's all that matters. I should have listened to the farmer. But, you know, of course I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to get farther into the stream where I'd have to, here I am. <laughs> Fish on, boys, fish on already. Ah, oh, that's funny. Oh, let's get our hands wet. Maybe we won't have to net this guy. Well, he just went right after that lure. This is about as big as he is. Well, that's just too funny. All right. Well, this would be an easy extraction. Wow, let's check that out, guys. For the size of that fish, through the size of the lure. All right, first fish of the day. And he's gone. I didn't even feel like measuring him, just toss him back. All right. Oh well, it was a fish. But I can't believe that he caught, well, I can't believe that he bit that thing. All right, boys, wrap a countdown for the win. You right, have to keep trying this guy, I guess, for a little while. See if something else comes out, you never know. That was pretty funny though. The little teeny guy, he really wanted that thing that bad. Dudes, I think I got a fish on here. This is gonna be hilarious. I didn't even feel him get bit. I actually have a brook trout or something on here. What is that? Are you kidding me? I have not ever caught one of these in this stream. Is that what is it? Is that what I think it is? Dudes. Check it out. Oh, it's a chub. That was a creek chub, dudes. Wow. I've never caught a creek chub in this stream yet. Interesting. Oh, that was really interesting. I have never caught a creek chub in this stream ever before. That explains how these fish survive in here. All this time I was wondering how these fish got what they Whoa! That's how they did right there is another one. They caught themselves another fish, dudes. Alright. Too bad they're puny, but we caught another one. These guys are living off these chubs. Gotcha. Now we figured it out. Alright, dudes, there we go. We don't have to measure this guy. He's definitely too little. Oh no. He really got it in there good too. Uh oh. Not a good thing. All right. All right, guys. There we go. Little tiny little brown trout. All right, dude. See you later. Have a good day. There he is right there in front of me. All right. Let's keep moving over here a little ways. We'll go a little quiet. I don't know. A lot of little fish right through here. Hungry, aggressive little fish, actually, so. Oh, that was a big one. I don't know if that was a territorial strike. If that was, that was a big territorial strike. Try that again. Wow, that was a big territorial strike. It's too bad he didn't hook in. All right. Ain't nothing happening at all. We were getting fish, 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 and then boom, nothing. I don't know. <clears throat> I want to keep using this guy, but if he's not going to produce, he's kind of wasting my time, but. Let's try farther over here once. There seems to be a lot of overhang there. Maybe something's feeding. It just happens to come out from where it's, I don't know. We don't happen, nothing happening. What an insane, terrible week. I go fishing pretty much every day, I don't catch anything. Last night I go fishing for a few hours. 
I go sit on some log, which I didn't get that part of the video. I got it after the fact of it happening. And I go sit on this log, so I gotta tie on a different lure. And this log's like this big around, and I must have gained some heavy bunch of weight lately because when I sat on it, it snapped off into the stream. I went back like this. My bag that I was, you know, for my my wet bag, of course, went flying. Got filled with water. All my stuff's all wet. <sighs> and then as I'm leaving that stream, I'm walking out through the mud, and I almost did a header into the the mud and into the weeds and bushes. I don't I don't know. I've even got that on the video. It's on the memory card, possibly. But it threw that whole section, I didn't catch anything. So I left there, went home. And then this morning I got up, cracking on. I mean, it was really early. And I drove all the way over to the stream. I get almost to the stream. And all of a sudden this semi truck's blasting past me. And all of a sudden I hear a tink as something hits the windshield of the truck on the passenger side, kind of over on the, almost all the way over by the door, on the, on, all the way over. Anyways, it puts a little spider web up there. Ah oh, man, this is a brand new truck, you know, and here we gotta go get a windshield already now and probably replace it because of that stupid thing happening. Then I get out to the stream and I've been having trouble with my cell phone for some reason or other and a little home button just doesn't seem to be working on the iPhone. You can push it, push it, push it, it doesn't work. So I gotta send a message to the wife, which I know is gonna be disastrous anyways, and say, hey, by the way, truck went by me this morning and threw some on the windshield and you know, it cracked it, so. I figured I'd take a picture of it and send it to her and at least get that pain of the day over with before I got home. Because I figured, well, at least if I told her the bad news now, by the time I get home, you know, it won't be that big a deal. I mean, it'll still be a big deal, but it won't be as big a deal as just telling her. And guess what? My phone doesn't work. I can't send her a message. I can't call. I can't say, hey, honey, guess what happened? Because I'm going to have to do it when I get home. I have to just face the music head on. <sighs> Anyways, I did catch some fish. Wasn't a lot, they were just little tiny ones, but you know, that's just the way things have been lately. It's just been heat of summer. That stream, when I got into it, it was, I think it was 70, or no, it was 64 degrees when I got into it, which wasn't a very good temperature. But I, you know, I still had to get, make do with what I could do with it. And then I walked up a little bit farther and it went up four degrees. It went up to, geez, I think it was almost, oh wait, it was 63 when I got in. And it was 67 when I got out. And right when I was getting out, for the longest stretch there, I didn't catch any fish. I just got walking, 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 and I figured, well, do I just keep going and keep trying to get something bigger? Or I just say, heck with it, get out. So I got out. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Well, I'm gonna go home and face the music here right now and have the wife scream at me for a little while. I don't know. What do you do? I at least caught a couple of fish. Anyways. It's gonna be a head over here. There's gonna be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques, the places I fish and the drift, those things that I do, places that I go, things that happen, things that don't happen. Anyways, uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tanging along, and I will catch you on the next episode. I'll catch you on the next episode. Remember, head, playlist. Yeah, talk to you next time. <laughs>